My Hometown, brought to you by new Giuseppe Pizzeria Garlic Fingers by Dr. Rutger. Growing up in Whitehorse, the NHL is a distant dream. The closest NHL club is Edmonton, and that is a 23-hour drive away. For Dylan Cousins, his love of the game began like it does for so many Canadians. It started with a rink beside my house, and then it moved towards the backyard later on when it had to get bigger. But that's where I started, spent all my nights on the backyard rink. I just love the feeling of, of my skates touching the ice and flying across the ice. I just fell in love with it right away. All that time spent on the rink benefited Cousins, but it forced him into a tough decision. To get better and to pursue his dream, he had to leave Whitehorse. It was definitely hard being so young at 14 years old, having to move away from my family. Uh, it was hard on me and it was hard on them, but they supported me and they knew that's what was best for me to help pursue my dreams and goals. Anytime you move away at such a young age, you know, it forces you to you know, kind of become a man early on and you know, really mature. So you know, getting to go to an opportunity where you get to train and skate every day you know, and higher competition, I think that's a huge thing. The move paid off. In 2016, the Lethbridge Hurricanes drafted Dylan 19th overall making him the first player from the Yukon selected in the first round of the CHL draft. He's a mature kid. You know, he doesn't seem like he's 17. Like I said, he came to us at 15 in playoffs and he stepped right in and, and made an impact. Here comes the youngster, Cousins, he scores! What planet is this kid from? It was the conference finals there and he's playing in those big minutes and uh, probably some of the best hockey that uh, a lot of guys have seen. So for him to fit in there and excel, it's uh, it's huge for him. He's the type of guy that seizes the moment. You know, he had that goal for us at 15. Uh, the Ivan Alenka, he ties it up late uh, last summer, and that's what he does. He just finds a way to impact the game at the right time. Cousin scores! This June at the NHL Draft, Cousins will break even more ground, as no player from the Yukon has ever been selected in the first round, thus fulfilling the unthinkable for a kid from Whitehorse. Definitely daydream about the draft. It's, it's something I've dreamed about my whole life, so now that it's finally my draft year, it, it pops into my head and I think about like what team I could end up playing on, because obviously whatever team drafts you is a city that you're most, most likely going to be living in for a lot of your life. It's a fun year and we want to embrace it. Um, there's a lot of guys that go through the draft and we've had drafted here, but there's obviously a lot more pressure and talk when you're as highly rated as he has been. So it's just been for us, for him, just focusing on playing hockey. If he plays and he plays hard, good things will happen. There are lots of scouts in the building watching Dylan Cousins. The one thing that will jump off the page is his great skating ability, but when you think about a 6'3", 180 pound right shot center, the package becomes that much more enticing. I had two uh, great guys, uh, Jordy Bell or even Kalen Addison, who, who I've learned a lot from. And whenever I need a question about this, I ask them. They're both, they're both great leaders, and they've taught me a lot. He's such a highly touted player and whatnot, and all the spotlight being on him. So I just try to keep him, you know, even keel throughout the whole year, and you know, keep him calm through the ups and downs. Cousins, a shot. He scores. A bullet by Dylan Cousins. My hometown brought to you by new Giuseppe Pizzeria Garlic Fingers by Dr. Rutger.